Generating videos from AI is really cool, but unfortunately, not everyone can enjoy that experience. The reason being high VRAM requirements, plus you need to have newer GPUs. Even when I create the videos covering the installation and testing of these video models, I often have to go with H100 or A100 GPU cards with 80 GB of VRAM and even then it takes long time to generate videos. I have been covering these WAN or Hanjuan models for quite some time and most of these models require very high VRAM. That is why when I stumbled upon this project WAN GP, it was quite cool because it allows you to not only generate videos with these AI models on lower VRAM around 6 to 8 GB plus you can also use your older GPUs. But we are going to install it locally and we are going to test it out if that is true or not. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM but we will check if it is true to have 6 GB or 8 GB consumption with these models by using this tool. I am creating a virtual environment with Konda and if you are looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in Videos description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Next up, I am going to git clone this repo and I will drop the link to it in videos description. Now there are various ways of getting this project installed. The easiest way might be to just get it installed through Pinocchio which is a one click application but there are few um, I would say hardened elements to that but if you want to do that just search my channel with Pinocchio and that should be easy enough to install or you could just get it manually installed by git cloning the repo installing all the requirements or you can use docker. So I am going to docker installation you can see that i have this recent version of docker installed and i am just going to run this script from the root of the repo and after detecting my gpu card and my driver and setup it is going to install it so let's wait for it to finish while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And you will find the link in video's description. And we just have to be patient. It is going to take long time. As you can see, it is almost now uh, way over five minutes and it is still running. And the application is now running at localhost, port 7860, let's access it. And there you go, it is loaded. And let me just make it a bit smaller so that we will see what is happening. Now if you look at this interface, this is quite interesting. On the left hand side, we have various models from WAN 2.1 to 2.2, Hanjuan and various other. And on the right hand side, you have various model versions. Now. If you would increase the model size like to 14 billion and more there will be more vram consumption but i'm just going to go with this text to video when 2.1 1.3 billion prompt is very simple a baby kangaroo going into the pouch of mother kangaroo also you see there are various uh, sort of settings which you can do but for now i'll just keep it as is i'm just going to click on generate it is loading the model the first time when you run it it is going to download the model so i'm just going to show you here too you see it is downloading the model once it downloads the model with all the prerequisites then i will also show you the vram consumption in real time it's still loading all the prerequisites so let's wait for it you see it downloads a lot of models and this is the actual model which is in the half precision and some of the clip which converts you know which deals with your text prompt and stuff and this is a text encoder and all the models are now loaded and it has started the steps while it does that let's check the vram consumption in real time so you see it is just consuming under 5 gig of vram 
That is very cool. Let's wait for it. I have been monitoring the VRAM consumption as it goes through the steps. 27 are done out of 30. And you see it is just still touch over 5 gig. It, ha it hasn't really even gone above that, which is very, very impressive. Because this model really consumes uh, even 1.3 billion one. It consumes quite a lot of VRAM. Anyway, it is almost there. It is now using the variational autoencoder to bring the image from latent space to pixel space. And as I was speaking, it is done. Let me. So there's a baby kangaroo. There's a mama kangaroo. It's not going into the pouch. It's not that good, but maybe I'm not really testing the model here. What I'm testing here is the creation of video. I know it's not an easy one. And if I just go up, uh, and just an uh, interesting fact, if you're, uh, I mean, if you're looking for more high quality video, maybe also try out the Hanjuan one. They're even better. So let's say, for example, if I just want to go uh, with this, um, you know, text to video in 13 billion, and I'll just ask it the same prompt. Let me do that. Not sure if, if I have that. It is going to download it again. And we will also check how much VRAM it consumes. It is going to download the model first again. There you go. So it has started downloading the model. But you know what? Even if you want to test out different models, compare them, it is such a good tool. Anyway, I will wait for this one to get finished and then we will go from there. And even this 13 billion model, which is quite a big model for video generation, it is just consuming 17 gig of VRAM as it goes through the steps. And it has generated the video. Let me play it. Okay, so it is just coming out instead of going in. It has done something, but you know, even the I'm not even sure about this. Okay, anyway, I'm not testing the model here, we're just testing the tool. So look, I think pretty good tool at least. And of course, you can do prompting, we can change a lot of settings in order to get this right. But there are a lot of things you can do with this tool, as you can see. Uh, there are some low rank adaptation, the LoRa is available, and they're updating it quite swiftly, which is always a good idea. Let me know what do you think, try it out on your um, commodity GPU. and. Let me know if that works for you. Please like the video and subscribe. And more importantly, please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot and keep the channel going. Thank you for all the support.